So you busted the lens on your 360 camera. You know you did. <laughs> That's why you're watching this video. So don't feel bad. So did I. And we're going to go over how to replace this. Well, we'll see about replacing it. It's not that easy, but let's check it out. All right, well, first things first, how did this happen? Well, I'm gonna put the video up here in the top and you know, to make a long story short, it fell off my Harley. Yep, that's right. Uh, if you have a Harley, you know you put Loctite on everything that you screw onto the Harley. And I screw this onto the bottom of, this is my mount right here that this screws on and this clamps to the handlebars and it just kind of vibrated off this and fell off. So camera actually didn't do that bad. This side has got a tiny, tiny speck right there and it really doesn't show up on the, on the video. Uh, this one, we got a big gouge right here. You can even hear it. So that got a, I tried to buff it out and it's just, it's too scratched into the glass. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. How do we replace this? I've got the replacement lens right here. I'm not gonna open it up just yet. We'll open it up in a little bit. But this, from what I've seen in other videos, this doesn't come off that easily. So first thing we wanna do, we wanna take out the battery. And we also wanna take out the SD card. What I've seen guys do, I've seen guys use a cutting wheel and they'll cut and then they'll just pick at this and pull it off. That seems a little messy. I'm gonna see if I could put, make a slice here and then a slice here and maybe put something through it and then kind of pull it up. I've seen guys trying to do a suction, you know, they heat this up with a heating gun and try it, but this glue is just on there super, super tight. So I'm actually just gonna try and make a slit here and a slit here and see if I could kind of you know, maybe put something through a, a wire or I, I don't know, but let's figure it out. I've got a myriad of tools here and different adapters. We're gonna go with good old fashioned cutting wheel. Let me try it like this. I'm kind of through. Yeah, I'm through. I think the actual heat from the uh, from cutting actually helped. So we're gonna clean this all up, use some rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna clean this off. You don't want any specks of dust or anything in here, because that's gonna ruin your day. So I'm gonna clean off the lens. And I'm guessing that when they do this, it, Insta 360, they're probably doing this in a clean room with no dust. I mean, I'm in a garage, so who knows if this is even gonna work. All right, so there it is. Now, I've heard from the videos I've watched, people put this in to dry fit it, and then it just sticks in there, and then they can't get out. What you don't want to do, and I don't know this from experience, I just know this from watching videos, is you don't want to crazy glue it. Because they say crazy glue or any kind of super glue will actually cause the lens to fog up. And I've seen crazy glue do that with plastic and stuff. It kind of gives it a haze. So you want to make sure you don't do that. So I'm just cleaning this really good, making sure I have no glass. I mean, that looks pretty good. I wouldn't know it. Whatever it is, it's gonna look heck of a lot better than what I had. And what people say to do is take a little epoxy and just put a little dot of uh, epoxy on the ends. But before doing that, I'm gonna see if this thing even works. 
Oh, actually I just pressed it. I don't know if you heard that snap, but it just snapped in. All right, so testing this, the front camera, the camera that I just replaced, and we'll see if there's little specks. If there's little specks, don't know. But that is outside. Hey, kitty. This is still the front camera. And we'll probably get the imperfections once we go into the light. All right, so as you saw in the clip, we had a little, I don't see anything on the lens, which means it's on the inside of the lens. It means I didn't get the inside of the lens perfectly clean, which now this is what I was saying before. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this out. Let me try a little piece of tape or something. Here's a little piece of Gorilla Tape here. No. Try hot glue and a nail right on top of it. The things that we experiment with here. So as you see, I just put the nail right through there. Put that hot glue. Oh. It's on there pretty good. Nah, the glue is just pulling. Yeah. So that goes to show that thing is on there pretty good with no glue or anything, just popped in. So we're going to leave it because I can live with that. All right, guys, so we did another attempt. As you saw, I tried the glue to pop this off. That just won't pop off. And I'm okay with the condition it is with those tiny little specks it's i'd rather have that than to keep trying to pry at this and scratch the lens and have it even worse i could live with those little dots i you know most of the time i use one of the main cameras and then for panning around i use the other and if you see a couple little specks all right so be it hey it's my fault to begin with i had it on the harley and it dropped off um, but for 45 dollars, this is a this is an excellent fix and it works great could work better if you do it properly in a, in a good room. So uh, lesson learned. Don't do it in a dirty garage. Well, anyway. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you liked it, hit like, hit subscribe, and hope you have better luck with yours than I did with mine. All right, later.